Uh, all right. Give me a second to. Uh, 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 uh. Trick slip the real quick. All right. I'm glad I'm not one. Does Flop want to go to the meeting today? I think we should. I'm about to do something. Oh man. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. We're just going to go to the meeting. the theme song oh the the the, the theme song for balto i'll save everybody the concern it's nothing bad there is no fucking way Am I as bad as... Did I shit talk this man all day to find out I'm just as bad as him? Say... Uh, oh, no. The fuck? Who repaired this? Why did that turn off? Haynes, what's going on? Thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate you. Can we get some hearts in chat, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dudes, for all the all, all the love and support. We're closing back into 800, which is fucking wild to me with everything going on. Uh, thank you for continuing to support. It means a lot more than you know. Thank you, guys. Sailor with a gift to sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Plenty of hearts, please. Thank you for the support. I, I do. I do appreciate you guys. Y'all don't got to do shit. I'm just, I, I'm making a visual cue. More of a notice. More of a thank you. But seriously, thank you. I didn't like the odd number. I, you know what? Respect. I respect that. I'm afraid I prefer odd numbers. What? That's crazy. And odd numbers save Flop's life. You know what? You're right.
It's too significant, right? All right, I gotta pull something up real quick. Yo, Ash, thank you for the 10 months. Nine months, goddamn, time comes by fast. I don't know about nine months. It'd be saying 10 months here. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. Please tell me commands around today. Please God, tell me some someone from command is on duty. Oh, thank God, Luke. We got Lucas. Okay. Uh, where's Lucas? That's odd fire. Lucas in the room. I'm yoinking you. Yoink. I can't oh. yoink you because you're saying yoink. Yoink. Yoinks. It's I can't I can't yoink. Trying. Holy fuck. Yoinks. <laughs> Oi. Oi. How you do? Good. I got charged with um Jaywalking. No. Oh I guessed. Something else. Oh god. I gotta some? remember. I'm a criminal. Hold on. Oh my god, you're false a... reporting. What the fuck does it even mean? I got charged with accomplice to false reporting. What? How? <laughs> Wait, why don't I see that on your criminal history? I don't know, but keep it that way. <laughs> I think I just got fined for it, and maybe it was just done <laughs> set at that. Damn, you're but... a fucking. You're kind so of a guy, Alice, Maple, some, uh, Anita, and one other Wait, person. Wait, everybody who. got cited for it? Yeah. By who? Some docket posting that involved a Moose Knuckles car when we were apprehending Maynard from a warrant. Oh my god. His car got um, impounded and he took it to the docket for um, damages. God damn it, Moose Knuckles. Yeah. I, th I think I have court with him tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, 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 sorry. Tomorrow's the court case for the bozo that was seen doing handoffs for drugs, got charged with sale of drugs, and is trying to contest it. With Declan and everybody? I don't know why. I don't know how that made it to court, but. That's so funny. If I can't. I. I, I begged Declan, I said, please call me as a witness just so I can <laughs> give my statement and state that we staged and watched them do drugs for 45 minutes before rolling in and we prioritized the man that we saw on scene, not the bike that fled. Because <laughs> they're stating that they're... That's a good one. They're stating that we gave up on the guy who was actually the, the, the real suspect, the guy on the bike who we couldn't keep up with. Although when we searched this guy, he had drugs on him at a 10:34. so girl okay i'm not saying that people are smart but i'm definitely saying that they dumb <laughs> for sure i'm for sure i'm you're not wrong at yeah all. uh i wanted to hand you something real quick okay i don't know how you want to pass this along to people okay i don't know how you want this to get through i don't care if this is for just command i don't care if how this is I uh, I was gonna wait till it was closer for the time but I'd rather this be in someone's hands now okay uh this way somebody has it okay um I know typically like there's question of a good you know like like, like a, a, a an exit interview and stuff I don't know if that's gonna be a thing but I I do I do want to give that to you um 
however you want to pass it around, copy it, whatever. So. Okay. Is this something that you're okay with everyone seeing or not really? Oh, like that? Uh. I don't care if you show it. That's fine. Okay. So, chat, you will see it. Hold on. Hey, Flop. Hey, Lucas. Hi, Crystal. Crystal. But yeah, uh, okay. whenever you want to. It's uh, it's yours now. It's in your hands. If you burn it, there's only I one copy. I won't burn it, Flop. I won't burn it. But what if you did? What if you like brought it to the shooting range and you're like, nah, fuck this shit. You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Actually, who am I kidding? What fucking shooting range? I was about to say. Damn, we're, the we're ammunition. Yeah, I don't know. We shoot in the evidence room at walls. <laughs> like, <laughs> we get in ballistics and like bathrooms and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, well, thank you for this. Yeah, I'll not take a problem. A look over it. Okay. Um, you have, yeah. If you have questions or anything, you let me know. I'm gonna go get in uniform and not. Cool. I, I'm, I'm gonna be late to the meeting. I'm pissed now. Hold on. Okay. You're good. I'll be right back. Okay, bye bye. All right, so you guys want to see what Flop just handed Lucas? <sighs> so I wrote this the other day and wanted to wait for a good opportunity for it, but I feel like with everything going on, I feel like earlier is better than later, so PD has a chance to do something with it. Blind warning. This is a text document, so it's going to be... You know, I wrote Flop's uh, retirement letter and gave it to Lucas because Flop cares for Lucas and wants Lucas to be the one to have it. And however he distributes it, he's going to leave up to them. And part of the letter he's hoping is a message to new people coming in. Um, dark mode. I mean, I could just do this, to be honest with you, but yeah. Um, Flop mainly wanted the point of this to be the points that he believes in. Integrity, being proud of who you are, happy of, you know, the accomplishment the accomplishments that you have. Uh Flop even brought up a quote from Ripley. Uh being a role model. Um sort of all the things that Flop stands for. And then a little conclusion. So. So. Um, I think the most important part of this note is that it is an open-ended note. The who flop was, and more specifically, um, what flop wants to be. You're still going to see me and know me regardless of how you see me. Just know I'm at peace with this decision. I hope regardless of how you viewed me, you saw me as a leader in your own ways here. Flop kind of walking away, telling people that, you know, you may see me. You may not see me essentially how you want to see me, but hopefully by the, you know, with me being here, you saw me 
you know. So. But. Yeah. So that's what Flav gave Lucas. And I was a sad bitch writing it, I won't lie. <laughs> but. We'll go on duty for a little bit. I feel like we should have to. Oh, motherfucker. Damn it. I facts ruined that. Hold on. Ugh. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's what Flop handed Lucas. Is that the sad thing you were talking about writing the other day? Yeah. I literally, I literally wrote that and just shit fucked me up writing that. Cause it was like, I don't know. It, it made me realize like, damn, like it's really over, but God forbid something were to come up in the next two weeks. Uh, Bob does want it to be kind of on record now before it's too late. So. Anyway, um, let's go to the meeting. Let's go see if Lucas can contain himself. Horses. No, bitch. No, it's not my little pony. I'm gonna uh, find out, and y'all gonna look crazy. Uh, Martian. It is oh, the Martian. Martian. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, this is that one Hi, game Austin. from my uh, that space game. No, 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 no. Oh, we're with, on movies. with Norman we're on movies Reedus. Right now. We're on movies right now. Thank you. What's that Norman Reedus great. game? You're the Gables great, or whatever they're Keep called. It it's, it's, it's a, it's, Norman Reedus was the main character. Then again, that motherfucker, the main character in everything he does. This oh my god, the Hillary Duff movie. A, I'm not a Hillary Duff dude. You're close. Um, uh, I don't know what the fucking Disney Hannah Montana. Go, a very Duff mu movie. I don't fucking know. No, 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 no. You, you, you have it except for it's not. You know, she's not Hillary Duff. What's the character she plays? Oh, the Lizzie McGuire movie. I'm so dumb. Lizzie McGuire <laughs> movie. Thank you. I forgot. You're all good. Let's move on to video games. Am I scuffed? Oh, bitch, I was thinking about Fantasia, see? Oh. oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the alligators in skirts. That's all I focused back into was Daft saying, I remember alligators in skirts. The Avengers! how Daft Fantasia. likes to kiss fish, that Fantasia. makes sense. Fish are always trying to kiss me, I don't want to kiss them. What movie is this? Oh, okay. No, we're on to video games now, so this is a video game. The Martian! This is not the Martian. Wait, is that shit on your phone? I think he's just on a delay. Just give him a minute. I think he might be. <clears throat> Anybody? No. Is it on your not phone? phone? Oh, I think you can now play it on your phone. It's old school RuneScape. No, we've done RuneScape not three times, Not everything is old guys. school RuneScape. Three times. It is in my eyes, okay? Oh my god. <sighs> Anyone? Anyone? This is the original Prince of Persia video. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, damn. Yo, save time hit hard back in the day. Yeah, I'm like, that's a... Wow, what a glow up. Yeah, true. <laughs> actually, though, fuck. <laughs> but like, actually, uh, though, right? Is it weird that he's blonde? Yes. Is, is this the original uh, <laughs> Fallout? <laughs> It's not the original Fallout, but it's is the this original. A, like old ass Dota or some one of those games I don't play. Original Baldur's no. Gate? 
Uh, no, but you're in kind of the right space of video games. Diablo. Diablo. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Diablo game. I can't stand RPGs. I don't know. I don't play video games. Oh, if there's a joke in there somewhere, but I'm not going to say it. Oof. Come on. Not you. Not you. I'm saying, I'm saying for Daft. Oof. Oh, no. I know. I, I want to hear it, though, for Daft, mostly. Oof. Wait, what? Final right, video I literally spaced for, for what? Day. One second. Oh! Uh, Simpsons uh, game. Simpsons hit and game. run. Simpsons hit and run. Oh Simpsons hit and run. Yes! Oh Simpsons hit and run. run. The donut. Oh, my God. I would hit that jump every fucking day of my life. I'm sorry. I just had nostalgia hit me like a fucking brick wall. I thought you didn't play games. Only dorks play games. Hey, who asked you, huh? You. I thank you so much for participating. Oh, hey, what's up, Fire? Game. How you doing? I hope you had a wonderful see you. day. Thank you, Aphrodite. I will say, I. Don't talk to me, Jack. Oh, growing more. up, I wasn't allowed to play that game, Grand Theft Auto, and I this was the closest I was able to get. <laughs> do you do you want to know something even more wild? What's up? I literally was never allowed to play a video game until I was 18 years old. Uh, that explains a lot. Oh my god! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn, that, that, that was that was a motherfucker. Was, god was, damn! Was, like, I'm so sorry. What, two I, years? I, uh, five years? I'm so sorry. Did you just ask me how old I am, Daph? Jesus Christ, Daph. You, you look I like a baby. I have seven children, Daph. I Daph. really appreciate you. Thank you for the deflection. seven children. How many adopted? <laughs> Two of them are adopted. I gave birth Two? to five children. Oh, my God. Yeah. First Does anyone have, have any more bit? And then famine. I bet On Fire has and one. And then war. On Fire, and podium. On Fire. And then Anna. And then Iraq. On Why Fire. go to the podium? That, what did you just say to me? Is that clear dressed up like on fire? No, no, that is That's fucking really obviously on fire. on fire and it's weird that you would say otherwise. On fire. I'm sorry. Podium. Yeah, it's definitely on fire, guys. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Podium. Look at she has got food. She's even doing the stance. Like she's like it's on obviously. fire would have yelled at the Simpsons hit and run. That's all I'm saying. She still has purple hair. <laughs> You know, it it's actually scary how well Crystal. That's what you say. Oh. Uh, no, you look great today. On fire. Let's talk it to you. Oh, oh Daft. <laughs> no way. Yeah. God, this is part of it. Yeah. The bowl cut included? She's so scary. You're going to open your mouth. Keep oh. more. Oh. 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 Oh, wait, no, oh. it is on fire. On fire is an eater. I'm sorry. That's you on fire. I apologize. And, and somehow you ended up here from there. That's right. Yeah. Eat. Oh, Ooh. Okay. Huh? Uh, thank you. Have you considered <laughs> chewing? God, God damn. Oh, you know who I'm married to? I like you. Know what ah, you grow a damn mustache. I don't believe in chewing. Yeah. Mustaches are for On winners. fire, what's my name? I thought that was spit. Dork. Okay, period. Okay. Go on What's with your bait on fire. I know you got one. You always Guy do. Guy wizard. That's not on no, fire. That's not. All right. Well, Loki, you're. Who's your Oshi? You're just cringe. To be no, fair. no. On fire always calls me dork every day. Every time. <laughs> Tell me the difference between Sky Lizard and dork. <laughs> True. The word. Sorry. Was... <laughs> the word's the same. The letters are different. Yeah, I was gonna fuck up me. I, I I said dork. <clears throat> I said dork. Oh, you did. Okay. Did you? Yeah, no, I, I heard it. You you want to go on with your bit that you have prepared for the class since you always do? That's not true. It is true. I don't do bits. That's not. I true. rather work. Oh. Oh, she's oh, the she real robot. Oh, my oh, yeah, that, that, that's oh an my God. android. Oh my God. Uh, what does the anyone, fuck? Does anyone I have fire? I think she's going crazy. I think she's going delusional. You have fire yeah. flop? I have fire? Yeah, you got like, uh, you make a fire. Wait, there's a fire? What? Yeah, I do actually. What? Here, check this shit out. Hold the building on. Building on fire? You ever seen on fire when there's fire around? She just stares at it and doesn't stop. She's crazy. Oh. Okay, does anyone else you. have any more announcements? Anything cool? I'd like to announce crazy? that uh, I'm smoking a cigarette in here because I was asked to light a fire. <gasps> Love, but that is oh. crazy behavior. Wait, I have I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm okay, sorry. Go Lucky. Lucas, you can't say that when Loki's right sucking. there with two cigarettes hanging out of his mouth. Oh, I don't think either of them are I'm not looking though. at him. Yeah. Um, mm. Okay, just, just a general heads up. 
I don't know how many of you guys have had to go to court since the whole DOJ was reformed and everything, but uh, even if you have all the evidence in the report, you, you gotta you gotta really point that shit out in your closing or whatever, because if you don't, uh, the judge might just not look at it or consider it if you don't articulate it, and you might lose if you don't talk about it during the case. Wait. I have a question. Yeah, what's up? I uh, this is related, but also uh, uh, you know what. It's related to court, but unrelated to what you stated. If Aphrodite, you have a question regarding what Loki stated, uh, go ahead. I need a moment to put my question into words. So you go ahead. Thank you, though. I appreciate you. Uh -huh. um, if the cases are on the docket right now during previous legislation, is, old le is the old legislation still being honored for those cases? Um, I think... That they would probably set court a tomorrow. new precedent. Uh, they'd probably set a new precedent or dismiss it. I don't know. I guess that's up to the judge. Okay. There's no... Okay. I haven't seen any definitive answer about that either way. I gotcha. Yeah. So, when you add evidence to a case, you still have to go out of your way to like point it out and read it out because i know some judges get really mad when you do that um so, like, i wouldn't I say to, to read, read all like... of it out but just like wrap it in a nice bow you know give a give a good summary of the evidence and where they could find it in your closing if it okay. isn't presented during like you know direct testimony across whatever it may be because just... uh yeah we had a case where we probably would have won, but we uh, didn't bring up a lot of the evidence that was in the report under the assumption the judge would just look at it. But yeah, so just just make sure the things that are important to getting the charges oh, you want, man. you point out at some point during the case before they start deliberating. That's it. I got one thing, too. Oh, you, you're going to come up and do your bit? Mind me of something. I'm not really a not really a bit. Well, actually, I do have I have two things. Oh, welcome back, Crystal. Hi. Yeah. What do you mean she was uh, here the whole she time? She was never here. Uh, yeah. I thought she had to turn off her washing machine. I I did. Oh fuck! I forgot my laundry. Um. Oh well. I want to say is um. Er, 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 I hate the podium. I hate the podium. Look at him. Crystal. Yeah, I'm right here. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, so there's there's a charge. Uh, I, the, remember the new one, the high security institution robbery thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember before during a shift one meeting, shift one two meeting. Uh, that it uh laundromat falls under this. Uh, from what uh Angel said, but uh had a court. Uh, earlier and uh, we were told uh, laundromat doesn't count from a different judge. So they're going to clarify that, I think. Well, that's stupid as fuck. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not really sure what they want us to charge for a laundromat. What did you articulate in court for why it should... Or not you, but what, what was articulated by the PD for why it should count or be under that? Oh, uh, that's... Well, uh, it was pretty... pretty uh, because Please don't tell me that PD just said, well, Angel told us it did, and that was their reasoning. Uh, uh, no, he, uh... Uh... I can't recall. Okay, because... I, I really if, if your reasoning in court for why a charge should be applied to something is, well, Angel said so, that's not a good reason. Yeah, yeah. You guys should articulate, articulate the way she did, probably, and maybe it'll make sense to the judge. Or you could just say it's, like, one of the calls that PD gets a direct alert from which is the same as the cash exchange maze bank art asylum therefore it has to have some sort of oh, you know, security system that's elevated from the normal ones is yeah, Ziggy and Pan is fucking dues mm -hmm. this motherfucker been lying Angel mentioned that you're kind of like breaking into something in the back like accessing it through like hacking and stuff same uh which uh you do in laundromats but uh yeah, I, I forgot what he said to you. I'm not good at this. Um. Oh, oh, geez. I have a question. 
in general, what do you usually get out of a laundromat? Like, I've seen coins, but besides coins, like, what are, like, the high-value stuff that the people get out of that? Uh, sometimes they're found with, like, USB uh, sticks. Yeah, are those cash. illegal? Uh, it's something uh, with these, because I... Oh. Yeah. I mean, there's a safe that we came into. That's okay. So... Are these like stored in like a locked room or just a safe? What? That's a good question. Because I, because the brief discussion I've had with Ruby on this last <laughs> last shift was that, I mean, Ruby is uh, sort of siding with the, you know, it's not I. Um, what do you call it? High, high security? High security. Uh, based on the fact that, you know, it's a laundromat. It's not like a cash that exchange or anything else. That was it's everything. Laundromat. And even looking at how the valuables are stored within a high security institution, uh, or at least seeing how things are stored in the back of the laundromat, there might it might not qualify for that because it's not like, you know, a cash exchange where it's in a locked secure room. And then you get in there. There's like a like a high security like safe. Um, there is a safe. Yeah, but it's also like you know. How do I say? Um, it was just like a back room, where it's just like a regular room with a safe in it. it might not be considered <laughs> high security. If that makes sense. So I think some of those things might be have to. Um, be considered, and then the type of things that they get out of that safe might have to be considered as well when we articulate why it's a high I get security. cash out of the safe. I, I mean, yeah, I but then mention... would that make a 24-hour, like, a, like, grocery store that, you know, you rob a high-security institution as well, or? If I think it's a combination well, I don't of think... things. Can we count that as valuable items? I think it's a combination I of things. We would get to that when that becomes a thing, if that becomes a thing, but I think in this case, if they're robbing a laundromat where they're breaking into a safe to rob money from i'm i mean can anyone argue that it isn't like money isn't a high value asset also i think it helps with the high security argument that we literally get a direct call when the alarms go off at, at the laundromat the same as the cash exchange the same as maze bank the same as the art asylum They got a better security system there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. This guy. You oh, I've seen guy? that guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's. That's it's Rod Long. The... Huh? Not the guy that's trespassed from the hospital. Oh, true. Penguin bad. Yeah, I mean, there's another penguin that's okay, but he's a wannabe, wannabe penguin. Uh. So we oh, shoot these ones? Uh, no. He's just kind of after me, but he's. I should be okay. There's something to keep an eye out for. And if anything happens to me, uh. Oh. This is the, that's my this is my last thing in the. Hopefully you stay safe. I'll be alright. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um. Any more announcements? Any more biddies? Are you guys Gucci? Whoa! Gucci. Wow, let's okay. get out there. Alrighty, we can all get out there. I hope everyone has an amazing shift. I am going to take a shower for like fifteen minutes, and I'll be out on patrol with you all. Okay. Hmm. But what Yay. is this shit about false what? reporting? The fuck. Oh, do we want to air out the dirty laundry? I kind of want to know. Oh, sure, yeah, know. sure, sure. I would also like to know because what the fuck is this? Uh, well, I need to look at the docket because I'm not explaining that entire report to be honest with you, babe. But my no shit cakes. I, Sean Maple, if Sab leaves me in the Alex fucking Watson, dust before Slacks and Flop can have a formal goodbye, ain't no I fucking way. Who, um. Or fined for false or accomplice of false reporting for a situation on the docket. Um, I'm a criminal. Uh, oh, yeah, you suck. I'm just kidding. 
I'm. I'm not gonna go into the details. The details are on the docket. Did Sab say curious, that? Curious, you can go through, look at the reports. It was uh, in regards to a Maynard warrant apprehension. It happened. It is what it is. And now today is another day, a beautiful day in which we take strides to be better. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Better. Alrighty. That's it. Thank Have a you. good day. Bye bye. That's good. Hey, Aphrodite. Radio check. It's Yo, a go. Up, it's, it's a, a go. go. I'll be there in a minute. Flop flopped on you? Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, well, you're not wrong. I'll tell you what. I just wanted to say uh, flop. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say flop. She, 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 she asked if I go out today. I'm like, well, flop, I've been trying for months, so if it's if that doesn't happen again today, then yes. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do tomorrow. It's cool. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you this much. I don't know where Lucas just went, but we could... uh. We can talk real quick if you want. Okay, yeah, we have a different, just, just something to discuss real quick. I'll, I'll call okay. you when I'm, I'll when be, I'm good. I'll All right. be in the motor pool. Have fun. Hello. Can't wait to throw daps at your face. Let's go. Excuse you? What? Do you have any idea how many fucking daps I've, like, sideswiped? It's crazy. That's crazy. Let's run. Dude, Sab out here standing me up on every fucking character. First, Al Sab stabs flop. Then Bass fucking was the last to approve uh, flop's promotion. And now Slacks is going to die before flop could leave him. Fuck everything. Hey. Hey. Hey, so let's just start off with the basics. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, um, that seems to be the question a lot of people are asking. I I heard you might have got kidnapped. Does that have something to do with that? Like, that did that happen? Yeah, something did happen regarding the kidnapping that uh, did kind of help sway that decision. Okay. So, so, I got kidnapped by Hydra. As you know. Okay. You knew that, right? Nope. I should dap you for not reading the fucking announcements then. That's a shame. Wait, that was in an announcement? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't worry. I haven't read a single announcement in God knows how long. Oh. Um, if I if I told you the, la the last announcement I'd marked red on was... Oh, God. I don't... Uh, oh, don't worry. I marked them all red. About two weeks ago. No. <laughs> so... Wait, did it name you in it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was the one about oh, Mir there it is. Mirror Park and Hydra. Yep. I've read I've read this overall. I must have missed your name. No, it's okay. Um, so I have probably told the story like thirty seven thousand times, and I'm I'm not gonna bullshit you. It is actually like a forty five minute conversation. I'm not gonna take up forty five yeah. minutes of your time. So I'm gonna That's try and shorten this as much as I can. Um Okay. When Hydra kidnapped me. Uh, we had a lot of back and forth about sort of the nature of the PD and everything. And I told them that, you know, I'm a lot of like you and or a lot of the police department and a lot of the we's. And I said, there's a lot of we involved in this. I said, but not a lot of me. I said, give me an opportunity to try and resolve the issue between you guys and the PD. You know, I'm willing to yeah. be a good communicator. That's that's what I'm good at. That's what I, I know. Gang relations is something that I was in, uh, literally labeled an expert in years back. This is like something that I'm, I am I take pride in is being able to, to be part of a resolution. Yeah. And they essentially... I can see that with you easy. Yeah. And they pretty much said that they're past the point of conversating. And they blamed a bunch of officers and a bunch of the shit that the PD does. And... They threw me in the back of a car and said, you know, Flop, the best version of you was when you were a park ranger. And I took that personally. And they fed me to a mountain lion, hence the scar on my neck, which you can kind of see a little bit. But yeah, no, it, it was it was traumatic. I looked behind me with the consideration to run and I saw guns trained at the back of my head. And I knew that between a bullet to the head and a bite mark, uh, the choice is pretty obvious which one would have been less lethal so and to be honest with you i'll be straight up if they had shot me i probably wouldn't be standing here today 
Good God. Yeah. So, um, I was the only officer out of everyone who was nabbed by Hydra who didn't get shot. And I take that with a little grain of, I hope, the respect. But, I, uh, something scared me with that. And it was that I had a hard time coming back to work. And right after my dad, Richard Dark, uh, was in the ICU or was admitted in the ICU and he's still in the ICU for a double lung puncture. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. And he... This is because he's old? What does that mean? No, no. He, he had a... He had someone messed with him, suspected, like, robbed or some shit. I don't know what the full story is, but I know that oh. he had complications. And during surgery, one of his, his ribs was broken, and they tried removing the rib, and it uh, cut against his, his lung, which had a previous injury. Whole thing, but long story short. A doctor stabbed him with his own rib? Well, in the attempt to remove the rib, uh, it was lodged between his lung uh, based on the way that it broke. So the removal of it had already had pressure on the lung i guess or something i'm sure it's more complicated but like kind of literally a doctor stabbed him with his own rib i, I don't think they intended to like on purpose you no, know what i mean of but course like, not but it's just a crazy it's just a crazy statement that might be factual anyway sorry I don't, go on I, I know the doctor very well i don't think she would have done it maliciously but no no i'm not i'm not implying that yeah but she richard was without oxygen for about five minutes, and she suspected that it's possible that he may not be the same when he comes out. He's been intubated for the last, like, week. But it delayed my time to come back. And when I came back, uh, I got on duty, and when I called 41 for the first time, everyone was excited to hear me. Instantly, I got a call from Maeve. Flop, I need you down at the hospital. We have two homicides, unrelated. And I said, okay. So I went down, and I had to speak with victims to so the two people that passed. And I had to walk by my father's uh, ICU room a bunch of times. And it was, like, overwhelming. We then had another call come in up north. And I made my way up there. And Slack said, no, just stay down and get victim statements. And while I was taking the victim statement, uh, Slack got on radio and said, what do you mean? What are you talking about? And I said, sir, give me a second. And the cadet got on radio who was with the person in surgery. And they said, uh, one of the victims from the call up north uh, didn't make it within an hour and a half on duty i had to deal with three homicides jesus christ and this chastity was one of them yeah well th this is this is the, the the fucking kicker not only did i have to come back to three homicides but i was asked to lead the chastity case oh god and i chastity was in the room right next to my dad and the thought of looking at somebody who had passed uh, who I knew, and then looking at my, my dad's room, uh, got to me. And I did something that I'm not proud of, uh, but I did something that happened. I walked over to, toward, like, the cafeteria. There's a little cubby before you enter the cafeteria, and I sat there, and I laid on the floor, and I bawled my eyes out. And I've never done that in my professional career. I've never failed to uphold and do it correct. And it was the first time I, I, I lost it, like actually lost it. And I had to, you know, put my differences aside and finish the job. And at that point I said, I need to get out of here. I need to go off duty. I need to be away from this place. Today was not a good day to come back. I drove to MRPD to put my stuff up and I, uh, when I, uh, while I was putting my stuff up, I got a, a call from Dr. Bordier. She's an amazing doctor. I love Bordier. Yeah. She, she's incredible. She asked how I was doing. I said, not good. She goes, okay. Uh, well, one of those days I said, yeah, she goes, I want to let you know that they're alive, but Tessa Lamb is in the ICU and you're one of her emergency contacts. Jesus. So I tried to walk away from it and I got pulled right back in. And I realized, I said, I, that ICU room has affected me in a very bad way. And I thought about it. And I, I, I really gave this thought. When I got kidnapped by Hydra, it wasn't the fact that they kidnapped me. It wasn't the fact that 
they had me. It wasn't the fact that I was about to, you know, uh, bad things were going to happen. What scared me about the Hydra thing was that I didn't know why there was a conflict between Hydra and the PD. I had taken the last few days off before I came back before that happened. And I realized in that moment that I was about to die for something that I had no involvement in, number one. And number two, I didn't even know the story to. They were going to kill me for something that I didn't know. And I realized that the thought of my legacy being that, you know, here lies Flop Dugong. Uh, here's a little photo of him on the whiteboard. And that's the end of it. Scared the shit out of me. The thought that I was that disposable to these people. And that thought was concerning because I want to be there for my family and I want to be there for the people I care about. And with, with Richard's condition right now, I don't know if he's even going to know who I am when he gets out. And I don't know if he's going to know what I am or if, if I'm even somebody that he recognizes. And I have used this job as a crutch to smile and as a crutch to kind of find an excuse to maybe have a different perspective on things. And after that day the other day, I realized that the worst of me came out while wearing the uniform. The best of me came out out of the uniform. The fact that I bawled my eyes out in the middle of a hospital Number one should never happen, but two, I think is telling to who I am and what it turned me into. And that was somebody who wasn't happy. And I realized that the only thing that did make me happy was the, the people that I, I was around when I was off duty. And that's my family. And I told Sky the other day, I, I officially, as of right now, I have 10 days before I leave. And I told Sky the other day that I am, you know, formally submitting my two weeks notice because the only place I want to be right now is home. And the question is, why not have an LOA? Because knowing that it's within my grasp, knowing that it's there, knowing that I have the ability to come here is a great thing. But knowing that it's there... And knowing that I have used this as sort of a different outlook in life and a different outlook in sort of a different thought process and a different way of thinking. With my father's condition and with uh, what I suspect, I believe that he deserves my undivided attention. And between my feelings with being around recently, which is no one's fault, but just th these last two weeks with everything I've gone through, I haven't been happy coming on duty. I've been scared to be on duty. I've been scared to pull over a member of Hydra. I've been scared to walk into the hospital. And I realize that I think for the better before the worst of me comes out and I'm remembered for the worst of, I'd rather be remembered and known in the PD as what people know me as. I don't want, I don't want to muddy that line. I don't want to ruin that line. I don't want people to ruin their perspective of me. And I have come to terms that I think the best version of me uh, was my time here. And I want that time to be remembered and recognized and not what I've gone through in the last week and what I have continued to battle and fight on or off duty. And I don't, I, I want that to be what's remembered. And I think retiring is the healthiest thing I've considered doing. And I hate to say it daft, but when I submitted my two weeks notice, I went up to the roof and cried a little bit because I love this place. I love my job. And this may not be a goodbye forever. Who knows? But what I do know is that the day after my, I submitted my two weeks notice, I was off duty and I was hanging out with my family. 
And it was the most relieved I have felt in probably about two months. And it's been a hard two months. And I think these last few weeks have been the hardest out of those two months. And I think it's left me scarred quite literally in a way that it makes me struggle to do my job professionally and efficiently. And I don't want that. That's not what a leader needs to be. And I don't want people to see me in a position where I fail to do the job that people expect me to do and the job that I'm expected to uphold. Uh, so I, I officially submitted two weeks notice and I am, I, I'm content with that choice knowing I'm, I'm going to miss this place like all hell, but knowing I'm going to be in a place where I'm happy again and around people who I deserve and need my time, like my father, uh, is going to be the best version of me. I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard, I was pissed. I know. Trust me, I... I heard your... I heard the noise that came out of your mouth. I heard the what? Was that out loud? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. I thought you were about to spill that. Woo! There's a reason I, I know, had... It seemed like there was some panic over the phone. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, listen. Um... I wanted to call you a selfish bastard for leaving us, but I'm the selfish bastard for wanting you to stay. So... You're not a selfish bastard for that. You... You care about me, and I think the fact that you care about me is more telling than anything, so. Listen, um, I don't. The only selfish I... bastard here, by the way, is me, because I have failed okay. to find fucking time. You're a selfish time. bastard. Thank you, because I have failed no, to. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, oh, dude, I have been so shit at finding this timing to hang out with you, and I'm fucking pissed that it's flop, come down to the flop. wire. But anyway, go ahead. Flop. Life, life gets crazy. I, I'm, I never hold that against you. Don't ever worry about it. You put your family first. And if you were the kind of person who didn't, then I wouldn't want to hang out with you. So, you Gucci. I appreciate that. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't say value your time with your family. Soak it up. But be cautious. Uh, family changes on you. Sometimes. I'm not saying yours will. But mine did. There's a reason I'm here alone. Um. People don't even know my real name. But that's not the point. The point is just to take care of yourself first. Because I see a lot of myself in you, kid. And. I'm married. No, Jesus Christ, Flop. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's, 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 oh, yeah. If I wanted you, I'd have had you by now, but that's not the point. Okay? Touche. Yeah. So, the point is, lost in, I, I lost it. Uh, oh, shit. Um... Oh, fam you, fam you, you, fam you, family. What was it? What was it? Oh. Family. Oh. I can catch you up to speed if you want. Good. I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you were talking about how uh, people don't know your your real name and that you know family changes on you, and that's you. You said that uh, you see a lot of me in you. Oh, you're too selfless. You're too. You're you give too much of yourself. Um, and it can bite you in the ass if you, the people you surround yourself with aren't the same. So just be cautious of that. I'm not saying, because I, I, I know I, I know and love each one of your family members that I've met so far. I'm not trying to say anything on them. This is just, you know, I would be remiss if I, if I didn't throw it out there for my own personal experience. So be careful, kid. Well, I want you to know, number one, thank you. And I appreciate that. And that's very sound advice, honestly. 
But two, mm -hmm. I, I want I want you to know that this family I'm in is obviously not my original family. I don't remember my original family because I had an accident and I lost a lot of my memories uh, due to a freak accident. However, um, family is what you make of it. Yeah. This place is a lot of people's foundation, their rock. This is this is a lot of people's families. There's a lot of people here. I'm not going to speak for everybody because I'm, I'm not going to lie. There are, there's a lot of fuckers here. But yeah, there's a couple who I would say are really, really good people. And they're the type of people who would drop everything to have your back. And they may not be blood related. And they may not be people you grew up with. But the people that you surround yourself with resonate to your energy and would take a fucking bullet for you. And regardless of the blood relation, in this case, there isn't any. They are your family. That is family. Yeah. That is the reunion and the bond. And I, I've told a couple people now. I, I got pulled over earlier by Dominic Rhodes because I'm a fucker. Hands? You got pulled over by hands? Yeah. That's I, embarrassing, honestly. I know. I ran a fucking red light in front of him. By the way, Legion we call Square. him Feats now because we're sure, pretty sure he has a foot fetish, but go on. Ooh. I'm going to remember that. Yeah. Um... But I told him, I said, the one thing that I want everyone to remember is that everybody is a leader in their own way. Everybody's a leader in some way. Where PD gets it wrong, I'm going to rephrase that. Where people get it wrong in the PD is that they assume the amount of stripes on your shoulder is indicative of leadership. It's a yeah. role in leadership. But leadership in itself, real actual leadership, is who you are as a mentor. Who you are as yourself. You don't go around demanding people to respect you. You don't go around ordering people to salute you as you walk by. The way yeah. that leadership works and the way that it should always work here is that you always got to respect your chain of command. We need, we need structure for functionality. However, you yourself are a leader to somebody. Some people will never tell you that they look up to you. That there are, are always going to be qualities that you have that inspires somebody else to do better or to improve on something. And the way that you carry yourself is telling of that. You're a very outgoing person. Your energy resonates with all of this shift. And people may never say those words to you, but I will tell you flat out that people look up to you. They care about you. They would take a bullet for you. And a lot of these people would consider you their family. There's a lot of broken people in this place, including me. <laughs> um, but don't, don't lose that piece of you. Because it's a quality that I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to have this conversation with everybody. And there's only a few people that I want to 